Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. 412 Michigan Muslims arrested in Fed's largest bust in U.S. history after uncovering deadly hidden secret. The state of Michigan is quickly turning into a swamp, thanks to the reckless immigration policies of Obama over his eight years. Not only are portions of Michigan being transformed into a mini Baghdad, but the state is also being overrun with rampant illegal activity, where the Muslim populace is constantly being busted in welfare fraud and disgusting mutilation practices on little girls. Now thanks to the hordes of Muslims taking over the state, Michigan can add another accomplishment on their list, as the Justice Department is dubbing what just went down in this state the largest scam in United States history. These immigrants continually prove that they have little intentions into assimilating into Western civilization or adhering to our nation's laws after arriving to America from their third world countries. Our generosity to these savages is frequently repaid by insolence, as many are constantly busted at the center of welfare fraud rings, as they seek to scam the very country who has given them so much. In yet another case of blatant disregard for for our nation's laws. A group of Middle Eastern doctors in Detroit have just been busted as the masterminds behind a $1.3 billion dollar fraudulent scheme, leading to the arrests of 412 people overnight, in the largest scam that the United States Department of Justice has ever seen. The scam involves a scheme where Muslim doctors will write massive quantities of prescriptions for opioids. These drugs never land in the hands of patients however, as the Muslims will then make fraudulent claims to Medicaid and pocket the money. Additionally, the drugs often wind up on the streets as part of a huge back alley drug operation. The U.S. Justice Department is calling this prescription drug and healthcare fraud scheme the largest operation of its kind in American history, naming several Michigan doctors responsible for orchestrating this huge criminal enterprise to rip off Medicare. ClickinDetroit.com has more. Officials have made 412 arrests nationwide, including 56 doctors and targeting 200 clinics. The Justice Department said those arrested are responsible for $1.3 billion in fraudulent transactions. Federal officials said a group of Michigan doctors was responsible for a major chunk of the scheme. One of the clinics hit in the sting operations is in Farmington. Federal officials said the opioid epidemic is part of it, but the medical office and a number of others were set up specifically as a criminal enterprise to rip off Medicare. Federal officers raided the Fisher Building Wednesday, and U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said their work accounted for 10 percent of the scam's value. Six doctors in Michigan prescribed patients with unnecessary opioids, some of which ended up for sale on the streets, Sessions said. A physician group called Global Quality used to operate out of a Woodward Avenue office building. The ringleader of the massive Medicare scam is Muslim Mashiat Rashid, who profited with an astounding $164 million from the fraud. He had had no qualms about rubbing the American taxpayers' noses in what he stole from them, frequently bragging about his large piles of cash on social media. Here's an image he posted on Facebook where he poses beside his Bentley sedan and corporate jet, all bought and paid for with the Medicare money he scammed from the American taxpayer. Other nauseating pictures show Rashid standing at the NBA Finals with his courtside tickets, enjoying a life of opulence he enjoyed while screwing over the American people. Rashid's name is included in court documents as feds prepare their case for trial, where Muslim doctors Joseph Petro, Spilios Pappas, Abdul Haq, Teres Omar and Mohammed Zawar were busted working directly with Rashid in recent years to make their millions. More than 400 others across the country were charged late last week for taking part in the health care scam in connection with a raid last week at the Fisher Building in Detroit. Other Muslim defendants include Mashiat Rashid, of Oakland County, controlled owned or operated Global Quality, Aqua Therapy, Tri-County Physicians, Tri-State Physicians, New Center Medical, National Laboratories, and Tri-County Wellness. Yasser Mozeb, of Oakland County, allegedly received payments from Global Quality and Tri-County Wellness. Abdul Haq, of Washtenaw County, physician enrolled as a participating provider with Medicare for Aqua Therapy, Tri-County Physicians and Tri-State Physicians. Joseph Petro, of Oakland County physician enrolled as a participating provider with Medicare for Tri-County Physicians and New Center Medical. Teres Omar, of Oakland County, physician enrolled as a participating provider with Medicare for Tri-County Physicians. Mohamed Zawar, of Oakland County, physician enrolled as a participating provider with Medicare for Tri-County Physicians. Trump's Justice Department isn't messing around, as the defendants are being brought up on a plethora of federal charges, including five counts of health care fraud and health care fraud conspiracy.
Rashid has additionally been charged with conspiracy to defraud the United States and money laundering, receipt of kickbacks in connection with a federal health care program, and payment of kickbacks in connection with federal health care program. In all, investigators say that Rashid's companies fraudulently billed Medicare $126 million, with a total of $1.3 billion in similar scams across the country. We must continue to sound the alarm about what's going right underneath our noses. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.